Hello and welcome to another installment in the update. This is the summer 2021 garden update and I thought we'd start in the kitchen because that's where most things in family seem to start. Uh, so in the kitchen I just thought I'd show you where I came from on my journey. I keep this with me because this is where I was and this is where I'm going and I'm gonna take you guys on this update with me. So we, oh, and it starts in the kitchen because it also starts with good nutrition. So there'll be things along the way that um, I am gonna be giving updates about, um, but I'm gonna take this with me. And I have a cameraman now, so um, this is different. All right, so we're gonna come out here into the garden. All right, this is the update to the spring video. And you can, you know, look around there. And I have some things I was gonna talk about. This is the garden, it looks wonderful. I'm so happy with this. It survived some very, very recent hot weather. And I had to be out here a lot watering it and um, tending to it, making sure it all had the right nutrients and giving it a lot of love. Um, and I'm hoping that this is going to be the future site of some classes back here to show how we got it to be looking like this. But what we'll do is we'll take you on a tour to update some things. So over here is the medicine garden and things are growing in. The St. John's Ward kind of took a beating by the beetles. Uh, we're trying to solve the beetle problem. and. Uh, but it, it took a beating in the rain, but it's coming back, but it also grows very big, so I have to constantly keep it under control. But this is one of the medicines that are gonna be in upcoming herbal classes, along with vervain. You can see here how this grows. It's very unique, but it's got a lot of different uses. And uh, a storm took this out, and I am so excited to see that I had to cut it all back and sacrifice it because it all blew over. Actually, the chair flew on it and I had to cut it all back, and now this is its second round coming back. So um, you'll notice some of the pictures on the update video that is gonna be saved on my YouTube channel. You can check that out. Um, and I'm saving some trees and I'm watching them grow and it's been fascinating to have them here and just to see a tree start out the beginning of its life like that in my pot there. So I'm hoping to someday plant them somewhere so you can see here, we've got some beetles. So we're working on some research to figure out how to get rid of them. And we might have an upcoming video about ivory soap. Is that right, Frank? Irish ivory. Spring. Irish Spring, okay. So there is apparently a method to use Irish Spring to get rid of pests, so we're gonna do that. And we'll make an updated video about that. So over here, we have figured out how to use this structure to our benefit, uh, saving space with some cucumbers. We're gonna do some canning over here. And if we move along, everything is growing in so nicely. I was excited about the bee balm here. I couldn't wait to see it. The, um, the beetles again are having a good time. But this is meant to be a pollinator to the yard to bring in all of the birds and the bees and you know the different things that uh, come in to have to pollinate garden and you'll see that shortly uh, but continuing on around here uh, we do have to be very careful on the grass Frank found out yesterday he got stung by a bee that they're everywhere but we do keep it like this a lot because we have all the bees that are helping the colony and uh, we're trying to keep it in balance but it does require us to wear shoes or to constantly watch where we're going so here's the echinacea that I couldn't wait. In the last video, you could see that um, it was not even growing, it was just starting to grow, and, and here it is, all in, uh, in its glory. And there'll be some upcoming workshops that talk about how to use these and other herbs for medicinal purposes, how to solve some health problems like anxiety and depression, and uh, to boost your immune system, so all of these uh, wonderful benefits can be found out here. Um, over here is a passion 
flower. If you can get in close to this without getting stung by a bee, and take a look at the passion flower over there. I'm very excited about that. That has a lot of medicinal benefits to it. And then standing over here, we have some stuff that grows in the shade. So I will be putting future videos up about uh, the different uh, plants that can tolerate shade, the ones that can't tolerate shade, full sun. So it's all about timing. Timing is everything when you're out here in the garden. You want to everything the best opportunity so that's another part that I'm still working on today and over here we're still also continuing to build up the, um, the grass and the soil composting the grass here and the leaves and everything reusing them to not put them in the landfill for sustainable reasons so we're you know just utilizing that so that's a future project over there are you safe from the bugs all right let's go this way all right, so just a few more things so we don't take up too much time. Are we good on time? All right, so coming over here. Uh, in the last video, we talked about uh, the greenhouse here that we had. So this is the result of the greenhouse. And I love gardening so much that I made this in two shapes of heart. And I filled it with everything that is got a lot of health benefits in it so that's what's in there and you know you can tell i love gardening probably from this um and then we're going to move over here maybe we'll come and we'll take a peek at some some fun stuff that's growing we have eggplant over here and evening primrose, I can't wait for that. I take that supplement every day for balancing out hormonal issues. So I'll be using that and some tea. And over here, the storm, the recent storm that we had, we had a lot of heavy rain come through and I had to take out a lot of the, the daisies because they fell. That always makes me sad, but there's always something blooming here that is just beautiful to look at. So come this way, we have more. We are waiting patiently for all of our beans. This is my bean structure now. And uh, it looks just like the vision that I had to get this here. And we got all different kinds of beans. Um, and on this side, we have more different kinds of beans and we have peas and they don't like this heat. So they, they are dying off, but the peas that are on there are still very good. And then we have three different kinds of squash that seem to like that area. And uh, the garlic that we showed in the last video has been harvested and it's drying out now. So we're gonna use some of it for seed. We're going to, um, we're gonna continue to let it dry out and then use it in our sauce that we're creating. So now, if you come this way, now we're coming up to pepper and tomato country. So this is my pride and joy of the whole garden even though I love the whole thing I'm very excited about the variety of tomatoes and peppers that I have here that we're going to use to develop uh, some recipes we have an upcoming cookbook that we're putting together so uh, we're making all homegrown food um, tomato gravy roasted peppers pickled peppers pickled cucumbers a lot of different things that we're developing here in the baby stages uh, but we're working on it and uh, this is all helping to uh, to bring it all to life like it is it is really um, thriving everything is doing well even though we had a lot of hot weather it's it got enough rain so we can move on this way down here <clears throat> we have some more stuff on the back over here we've got okra we're learning how okra grows uh, we I never tried it before. I don't know what it tastes like, but it's got a beautiful flower that comes on it. And I just thought that I just had to have that in, in the garden. So over here, we have uh, my son's garden that was part of our homeschool um, education for this year um, in our effort to, um, to deal with the, the COVID situation. That's, uh, we, we put together a garden, so we'll continue the path this way watching out for the bees. Hopefully we're okay on time. We're at the end of the 
journey here, but I will show you uh, what I just finished. Come this way, come this way. I gotta keep watching where you're going. All right, so. So this is my new area that I finished here. As we come down the lane, these are all my extra tomatoes and peppers. And they look so good. They have really good energy. So if you come down here, I have everything all lined up. Tons and tons and tons of extra. I couldn't get rid of any of them. They all grew. I found pots for them to, um, to go in that are reusable and environmentally friendly. And then over here, we've got uh, some of the winter squashes, butternut squash, acorn squash, delicata squash, and spaghetti squash. And um, so over here, this is gonna be my new yoga area because I get the sunrise right there. And I'm gonna have my yoga set up here to be surrounded by all of this all of this greenery, it's very healing, it's very supportive. Um, it's, it's amazing, it's amazing energy over here. So this is popcorn back there, the uh, sunflower area is over there. How are we on time? All right, so, but that's it. We, uh, that's, that's pretty much the tour. This is how everything is growing. We're experimenting with a lot of different things, but uh, we will follow up in another video and uh, keep you guys updated. See you later.